I'm experiencing now because I just heard what sounded like a breath. I keep feeling like somebody is behind me. Look at that. How creepy does that look? We're going over there. Hey everyone, it's Christine. Welcome to Parent TV. If you're new and welcome back to if you're not, I have like hair in my face, so excuse me. We're going to be going to a local graveyard. So we're going to go to this graveyard. I've gone a few times. I think this is my fourth vlog or my fifth vlog in this graveyard. Um, it's super exciting because I did catch some EVPs and I've had multiple experiences in this graveyard so hopefully I'll have something else. This is the first day I feel like it's good enough to do it because there's no rain and most of the kids are back to school so it shouldn't be very loud. I live in kind of an urban setting. So the last time I was there I had a weird experience. Sorry, there's like... Bye. So the last time I was there I had a weird experience. I actually heard keys jingling and I couldn't find the source for that so hopefully I'll have some type of experience as well but the goal is to find Octavius Caddo's grave he is buried there and I actually think I was not far off from it I think I know where it is I think I was like really really close to it the whole time but I got really distracted by the keys jingling so I didn't even notice it I'm gonna go back to that area Maybe we'll catch something, maybe I'll hear something, maybe I'll see something, and maybe we'll find Octavius Caddo's grave. He's one of the more notable people that are buried there. I'm a little bit nervous because I, every time I say this, people think I'm afraid of paranormal things and they're like, well, why are you going to graveyard? Why are you afraid of your graveyard? I go in graveyards all the time and I'm never afraid. I always get comments like that. I'm not afraid of the graveyard and I'm definitely not afraid of paranormal things happening. I welcome paranormal things happening. I'm hoping to have a paranormal experience this time. I'm afraid of the people that could be lurking in the graveyard. I just heard a very weird noise and I thought it was my cat and he's not here so I don't know what that was. Ding, ding, ding. a paranormal experience right now because I just heard what sounded like a breath. Anyway, my worry is that there will be somebody kind of creepy lurking there. You never know who's going to be in a graveyard. Weirdos like me and then some scary people. Those are the type of people that kind of lurk in graveyards. Weirdos like me are always welcome to hang out with me. We can investigate together and have fun. But, um, Scary people, not so much. So I bring my mace, I bring my dog. Just came down the steps and the cat is right here. So it was not the cat in my room. This is Max, if you haven't seen him. Please don't let there be anyone in the graveyard. Please don't let there be anyone in the graveyard. Wow, your girl's out of shapes and starting her treatments because that hill, I don't remember it being so steep. There's someone all the way over there. Ah, that's where we need to go. There's someone all the way on the other side of the graveyard where we need to go to find Octavius Caddo. So we're not going there. They're probably like watching me as I watch them, thinking this girl's hella suspicious. So that sucks. Oh, I want to see my Octavius Gatto. I don't know where they went. I don't know. Where'd they go? I don't see them now, but they were just there. I don't know. So we're just not going to go there because there's somewhere over there. We'll go down this little dirt path that I'm approaching. And this is the way I want it to go. And look at this dirt. Fun. And I'm in flip-flops. Oh, thank goodness. You have your allergy pill, Lacey. 
give you an overview. This cemetery is very, very big. So, I think they're trying to build up this pathway. Maybe so cars can come up here. Because it did not look like this before. So I think that's what's happening here. Or I'm completely wrong. And I don't know what I'm talking about. Either or. Wait, Lacey, wait. Okay. I don't know, I just kind of had like a weird feeling. Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm spooking myself because I'm worried about weird people coming up and bothering me. But I keep feeling like somebody is behind me. They're not, but I feel that way. I don't know. So, it's just something to note. Oh my gosh, I was a bird and it scared the crap out of me and Lacey. It was so unnecessarily loud. <sighs> bird. I should not have come down this dirt pathway. This was a huge, huge mistake. Look at this. Why did I do this to myself? Why did I do this to my dog? I don't know. <laughs> Why did I do this to myself? There's no graves here, so I'm just going to go this way. Lord. Mercy. I definitely question. Oh, no. No, we're not running. We're not running. It's not the park. I definitely question my decision making at times. Okay, so my dog thinks that because we're on the grass that we're in the park and we can run. I'm gonna start heading over where that person was, I think. You know what, we can go down here. Ah. <laughs> I can never do things <laughs> the easy way. That would be too much, right? Look at that. Can you see the pile of rocks? Is that like a te temporary placement holder for a stone? I don't know. There's literally no tube zone, but a pile of rocks. That's different. Um, I still kind of feel like something is behind me. <laughs> I don't know if it's my paranoia or paranormal. I can't tell. But I just feel like somebody's watching me. Whew, which is always very creepy. Especially when you don't know if it's a human. But we're gonna have There's some cool looking things over here that I want to go look at things they're graves they're graves people i don't know why i said things let's do a little overview of what is going on here look at that how creepy does that look we're going over there like what is that is that a vault is that like a mausoleum what is that door? That red door? So creepy. So creepy. I don't know what that is. I'm not gonna like walk up to it, but it's creepy. There's also this vault over here, which I want to get closer to, but there's that building there and I don't know if anyone's in there and I don't want to like, I don't want to be yelled at for being here. So we're just going to zoom. I feel like because the way I came down, I definitely look suspicious with my dog and like I came down this hill and I went around the graves. Like I obviously didn't know what I was doing. I'm such an introvert. It's like not even funny. I cannot handle people. And I just have like weird feelings, weird vibes. A 
Okay, no lie, I heard something that way. And I can't see if anyone's over there through the trees. But I heard something that way. So what makes this so difficult is that um, I am in an urban setting. This is a graveyard where it's easy for people to get to and access. Um, is that a lantern fly? The ones we're supposed to be killing? I don't know. I don't know. However, um, so many people can access it and it's hard to tell if what you hear is a person or what you hear is a spirit, especially when you're not alone in the graveyard. So this is one of the first times. Second time I haven't been alone. The first time there was just a car driving by. Like that was it. So Lacey's attention keeps being averted over that way. And I definitely hear something. And what's interesting is I don't know if you'll be able to see, but some of the branches are moving, but no wind is blowing right now. Uh, so it's like somebody might have been over there, but then it could have been just like a bird in the tree. We're going to approach where the other person was, so I'm really hoping that they're not there anymore. If they are there, I'm not going to film. I'm not going to be disrespectful of film when people are visiting, but I'm really hoping they're not. I do want to try to find Octavius Caddo's grave, so let's hope we actually find it and find it when no one's there. This is where I thought I heard keys jingling before. I think, I think I found his grave, so let's go see. Let's see. I think I found him, I found him, Ooh. Somebody was here and they brought him flowers. Hold well, on, I'm gonna show you the tomb in a minute. God bless you, Lacey. It's the forgotten hero. It says, Obi Cato was a prominent scholar and dominant leader in the civil rights movement of the mid-1800s who led efforts to register thousands of African Americans to vote. Sorry, I thought I saw something out of the corner of my eye. He worked tirelessly in the face of violence and open hostility towards black participation in the political process. Cato was a member of the numerous civic, literary, patriotic, and political groups, including the Franklin Institute, oh, that's quite an event, and the Union League Association. He was the headmaster at the Institute for Colored Youth, later named Cheney University. He served in the Pennsylvania. <laughs> National Guard as a major in the Union Army during the Civil War. He was assassinated on Election Day, October 10th, 1871, in front of a polling place on the 1700 block of South Street in South Philly. South Philadelphia, it, says, it doesn't say South Philly. Um, so let's do another like quick look at the area right here. So yes, he was a very, important person and I just kind of wanted to find his grave but I knew he was buried here and I was right over there last time and I went that way instead of this way and that if I went this way I would have found him last time so I can't believe I was really close I didn't think I would find his grave so easily in such a large graveyard I don't really think you can tell how large this graveyard is on film but it's it's pretty large so it's really cool to you know stumble upon his grave i just kind of want to show you guys him so i guess we're gonna head over i just kind of want to like honor octavius Cato a little bit so they're mowing the lawn in the graveyard now so at first it was just a park but now they're starting to move to the graveyard so i'm going to head out before it gets really loud hopefully i caught something i mean i did feel a little weird so who knows if that was just me being weird or if something was here. So I'm gonna head out, I'm gonna go back home. Before I go back home, I'm gonna stumble upon this one grave that I thought was really cool. 
this is where I heard the keys jingling and I just want to show you it well first of all I think that tombstone's really cool it looks like a book okay so then this one which is a tree in the shape of a cross I thought was really cool last time and here is where I heard the keys jingling um, yes I'm gonna head out since now they've moved up here to mow the lawn I will come back here again for sure in the fall so let's hope that if I didn't catch anything this time I'll catch something next time and I will see you in my next video bye guys Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you're not part of the goal team already, I would love to have you here. And you can do so by clicking the icon to the right of me. I promise you it's fun. We have a good time here. And if you're just wanting to watch more paranormal content, I have a few videos linked down below for you guys. So thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed and have a spectacular day.